Welcome back to BNC, everyone. Well, after keeping a mostly hands-off approach, federal regulators are looking to address the potential risks of cryptocurrency for consumers and financial markets. Concerns continue to grow as cryptocurrency's market value has exploded to more than a trillion dollars, but so have scams and volatility in the relatively new asset class. So much so that the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission recently compared cryptocurrency to the wild, wild west. Let's discuss this further with Eduardo Jackson. He's the CEO and founder of Cinema Draft, and he first stumbled across Bitcoin about eight years ago and founded BlacksInBitcoin.com a year later. Good to see you. I got to ask you, so are, are you a millionaire from crypto? Oh, that's gauche. You know, we don't talk about our money like that. <laughs> <laughs> I would, we were talking about money. Come on. Okay, I put you on the no, spot. So I, but let's I, face it. People are it's, thinking it's, that... It's been funded. People, people are thinking yeah, that ahead, they can get rich and become millionaires and billionaires off of crypto. But but tell us, is it, is it safe to invest? <laughs> well, it, well, honestly, what we like to say is, is, one, do your own research, and two, only invest what you're willing to lose or what you don't need immediately. So just like any other investment, uh, you know, make sure you know kind of what you're getting into. And yes, you know, we are, you know, shot takers, you know, early adopters, what have you. But if you follow the right projects and if you, you know, do enough research and go into groups like I'm part of, like Black People in Cryptocurrency, you know, where we really hard vet a lot of these projects to come through, you can find a lot of hidden gems. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm kind of being a little bit, you know, tongue in cheek about this because let's face it, there are all kinds of people who have said that this is a scam, this is a game, this is never going to happen. Um, and then there's other people who will be like, yes, I'm going to get rich. I'm going to, you know, live my life and retire off of cryptocurrency. But let's face it, it's just been compared to the wild, wild west. Um, is that a, a fair comparison? I mean, it's not necessarily wrong. I mean, we've seen a lot of scam opportunities at times. There's been the ransomware, which I know has, has freaked a lot of people out. But also, there's been there have been a lot of great projects that were just early on. I mean, part of the reason why I'm a little concerned about the way Gensler's been talking is that for someone as knowledgeable about crypto as he is, I mean, from what I'm told, he used to teach a class at MIT on cryptocurrency, uh, or at least on blockchain, that he should also know that this is has more potential to transform the way we think about money and, and some aspects of society than to harm it. The thing about cryptocurrency is that if you follow some, some basic fundamentals, you know, you research your projects uh, well, maybe you have good teams or, or really good use case for solving, then, you know, you're likely to be okay. But it's like, I liken it to getting, to buying a share of the internet circa you know 1994 that's basically what buying something like bitcoin or 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 really you know cool good uh useful cryptocurrency is today and you don't want to you don't want to put too many breaks on so, that, honestly so I mean, you want to have dumb rules but you don't want to stifle innovation so i think the average person is kind of nervous because they hear that china of course just banned cryptocurrency but then you hear of a country like el salvador that says you know now they're using it and the people of el salvador are saying well, what do we do with this uh, so what are your thoughts on when people will actually be able to use this in a practical everyday uh, sense well honestly people are in at least in the united states are using it in a practical everyday sense today a lot of cryptocurrencies have uh, are linked to to traditional credit cards. You can, you know, actually Coinbase offers a credit card, I believe, where you can, where it's tied directly into your cryptocurrency holdings. So it's it's very practical. It's a lot more practical than it is, you know, several years ago, where there was a writer uh, I met in in Las Vegas, where he had actually been living off the off the the fiat grid for for years. You know, and this is like 2017. Whereas now it's a lot easier with a lot more big institutions buying in. As far as the cases like El Salvador and China, I mean, you're talking about two different things. China wants social and monetary control. So Eduardo. Over its yes. Yeah, we could go on about this forever. The key is to be safe when you're investing. Thank you so much for joining us. We yeah. appreciate your time. Well, thank you. And thank you for joining us here on BNC. Much more coming up after this quick break. Stay with us.